For many, life is not a linear, predictable progression of steady achievement and growth. It is filled with a multitude of ups, downs, setbacks, lulls, and breakthroughs. It can be an emotional and financial roller coaster, no doubt exacerbated by certain personality temperaments and lifestyle choices. In the modern world, life's feast or famine propensity particularly accompanies the entrepreneurial journey, to which anyone who's been in the valley of disappointment can attest. It is in these moments of suffering, doubt, and boredom that it becomes all too tempting to want to fast forward through the mundane, the difficult, and the frustrating. We all just want to experience the highlights of life without understanding that it takes the grind to create the divine. I have to catch myself every time I try to wish my life away. I have to remind myself that the everyday quotidian moments are what life is largely composed of and that there is no mystical future external state that will complete me. There will always be just another mountain to climb, another hurdle to overcome. A sense of wholeness and peace must therefore come from within. So while I'm confident in my future success and I'm excited to work it into reality, it's an equally important task to remain grateful for the present and embrace being in the good old days while they're still here. While there is nothing wrong with pursuing our dreams and seeking to accomplish our personal ambitions, no status, milestone, or position should ever define us. Life can be an unpredictably cruel mistress and, as explored in Disney's Up, attaching our self-worth to a specific accomplishment is a dangerous game. In fact, sometimes, achieving our dreams can leave us feeling emptier than we did before. This relentless philosophical focus on the present is at the center of Disney's soul, a story about what it means to be alive. In his effort to struggle against mortality, Joe learns that the true purpose of life is to fully live every moment to the best of our abilities, for it is how we choose to approach everything we do that provides our lives with meaning. However, it can be all too easy to misconstrue soul's message as an espousement for complacency and mediocrity. Why pursue anything if we're bound to the hedonistic treadmill of existence? It often takes being obsessed to reach the pinnacle of human achievement. Civilization would not have progressed if humans never evolved the capacity to delay gratification and sacrifice the present for the future. Such is the gift and curse of the human race. It is easy to champion the power of now while enjoying the fruits of labor and the technological advancements made possible by others who dedicated their lives to accomplishing tasks and achieving breakthroughs. The reality for the vast majority of human history was interminable suffering, struggle, and toil. Starvation, warfare, and disease ravaged the lives of just about every one of our ancestors at some point in their lives. How ignorant and insensitive would we have to be to insist to someone who is starving or sick to simply be more present and enjoy the moment. To not forget to smell the roses as they are writhing in pain. Indeed, soul's central message is a privilege reserved for the modern individual living in the developed world. But I suppose that's all the more reason to embody it if we're in a position to do so. Ultimately, Joe teaches us the importance of remaining connected to our hearts. Consistently doing so is what keeps our spark alive and allows us to overcome our petty fears in order to remain authentic to ourselves. That includes properly aiming towards our goals while cherishing what we already have, because doing so is the only way to honor and justify the suffering our ancestors endured to put us in this position of privilege. It is now our responsibility to make the most of it.